place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu including family favourites. On those sunny days our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs. Thrown into a play, a couple of metres from the behind post, deep in the attacking area for Invalee. It is uh, in the, at ground level, handball uh, given out there. Good running, certainly from uh, Nelson. Terrible kick from his boot. Out of bounds on the yeah, full. Trotter goes to Kelly. Went out wide looking for Peel. Handball wasn't good, so players now go back and get it again. Ball's picked up. A kick from Greed. It's smothered. Back in the hands of Swinnerson. Kicks around the corner. His kick is smothered. Now towards half back. Predegast picks the ball up. Handballs to Kelly. Tackled by Fitzsimmons. Ball comes out and it's away. Van Creek and swoops on it. Steady. Straightens up. Goes on the left. And there's goal number one for the afternoon. It goes to Luke Van Creek. Top of the footy. It's all North Geelong, isn't it, at the moment? And. Uh, they're absolutely dominating, but there's a terrible kick in from full back, and it's been marked by Jace Kelly on the 50 metre arc at centre half forward. Decides to chip it short. That's poor defence by North Geelong. They've got numbers everywhere, Purcell, but they haven't got anyone to uh, guard Purcell, who's only 25, 30 metres out directly in front. So uh, they all drop back, I guess, uh, assuming Kelly would have a shot at goal there. But uh, good work, Kelly. Good option. And the opportunity here for Purcell moves in. Handball not to uh, the uh, to his teammate and uh, for uh, North Geelong. And uh, gee, the uh, skills as it comes out to Clayton Trotter now to Kelly by hand. And Kelly for uh, the Inverloo side goes to full forward. Lewis can't get to the drop of the footy. However, it's uh, that was uh, Kyle, Kyle Gillett, Gillett was it? Thrown out uh, for North Geelong and uh, Armistead to. Uh, Try to compete, but uh, Mark taken there by, is that de Blasio again? Oh, it seems to think this As, time. Uh, <coughs> well, the ball uh, goes inside forward 50. Todd Elsey took the mark, tried to uh, accentuate the four forward. Man on the marks, uh, 40 metres out, just left of centre. Elsey moves in. It was a better drop, certainly, and it is... I don't know whether it made it. Yeah, I reckon it might have. The goal umpire. The umpire will put the ball in the air. Gee, uh, Swenderson almost could have been free kick there for impeding uh, Hybens. However, not to be. Handball comes out to Fletcher for North Geelong. He goes long towards centre half forward. Elsie trying to make out he's being held. He's uh, held his ground, however, Van Creeken didn't. Well, he did have a look because Good de Blasio use. had uh, drifted use. back towards the full forward position. Takes the mark at the ten yet. Top of the 10 metre square, plays on quickly. Not too many get out of a Kelly tackle, do they? <laughs> Looks a bit like Blissey. I think they had a bit of a to-do last week, the two boys. <laughs> Look like brother in arms. The ball comes out and it goes to Harvey on centre wing. Spins back inside, goes short in the left oh. foot again. The kick's not good. Coming forward is Armistead. And Armistead takes the mark. He goes out wide looking for Greed. Also McKnight, who's just uh, come onto the ground, takes the mark in front of Nelson. Again, a short kick, this time to Greed, who's pushed further afield. Now it's a long kick, going towards the hot spot at full forward. Elsie uses his body, and they call him the body, Toddy the body. And he does well, keeps Ling away from the ball. So Elsie now from 25 out will uh, see him put his second goal on the board if he's accurate. He uh, likes it. The umpire's come back to the middle. That indicates to me as far as Grenville goes over the top by hand. This time goes looking for Brackley. Handball wasn't good. He goes back and collects it, though. Picked up by Greed. He drops the ball. Comes out. Now it's picked up. Van Creeken on the left foot. Nice kick going in towards Hutchison. Usually strong overhead. Being held, says the umpire. And the free kick goes to Hutchison. 40 metres out from goal, directly in front. I suppose in the context of this low-scoring game, this is an important kick for North Geelong. So Hutchison... Coming in, as I said, will kick from about 45. Accuracy shouldn't be a problem. Distance also not a problem, and it's through for a goal. Out of so mid-air there. Trotter goes and collects it. High tackle, and yes, Clayton Trotter, resulting free kick up to his feet, goes quickly, goes looking to the goal square for Lewis. The big fella's there. Hutchison doesn't take the mark, falls to the big fella in his arms, and he wanders in and kicks his first goal of the afternoon. So Owen Lewis what kicks it. The kick goes out looking for... Trying to find Trotter. Stays in the field of play. Just feeds the ball back nicely. Goes to Grenfell again. Goes backwards looking for Kelly. Kelly comes back on his natural side. On his left foot. Goes short. to nice kick. Bremner takes the mark. 
He now goes in long. Goes the target. Obviously, the big fella, Lewis. Oh. But up and down is Hybens. I think it is. Has pushed himself forward. And the big fella's taken the mark. He obviously told him at half time to dictate to Swenison because Swenison was dictating to him. And Hybens is back on top. Pushes forward. Takes the mark. Great work. Hybens goes back. Comes in. Umpire looks straight back over his head. And he kicks the goal. Got to kick one or two goals to get himself into the game here. In the middle. Hybens again. Back in the middle and uh, got the tap out. Kicks it off the ground towards half forward. North, they've uh, flooded back, but uh, <coughs> Inverloo still have the footy. It was a stone by, by hand to Trotter. Trotter to full forward. Now, Lewis. <coughs> and uh, Daniels hit the nail right on the head because they've got the ball quickly to a one-on-one -on -one with Lewis in there. And he's got to kick the goal first. So, Owen Lewis moves in. Very deliberate. Head over the footy. It's not a bad-looking kick off the boot. The goal umpire's pretty happy with it. Owen Lewis is more than happy with it. Watts with the free kick now. Goes in short. Leading up, Fitzsimmons doesn't let him down. Takes the mark, has options wide, ignores them. Still has greed wide. His options now are going to be long. Goes towards Elsie by himself. Two-on-one situation. Front of the contest, Hutchison knocks the ball back. Picked up by Fletcher. He's tackled, releases the ball. Picked up, comes out towards Trotter. Trotter, who oh, kicked the ground. He's trying to kick the ball. Picked up by Onturk. Well, he doesn't actually pick the ball up. Fletcher does. That wasn't a handball either. He's tackled. Ball comes out. Now it's in a situation where the umpire's got no choice but to come in and take possession. So right on the 50-meter arc, centre-half forward position for North Geelong. So Inverlee still making the changes. Ball thrown up by the umpire. This time, Habel, who's pushed down the ground. No, it wasn't. It was Watts who's done the ruck work. Ball kicks forward and a free kick down the field. Hutchison and Nelson just say hello to each other. I think you might have got one in there, Hutchinson. Relayed, Threw a big uh, left, left uh, hook. I think it might have landed too. Certainly a relayed kick as a result of the... Uh, the late tackle. Surprised they didn't actually reverse it after the after the punch. Yeah, I think the umpires have lost control of the fights just quietly. Doesn't matter at the moment because uh, the Blasio is going to come in and shoot for goal, and just the Blasio kicks the goal. So North Geelong in their side. So 21 at 21 and a half minutes gone. The uh, tap away is taken by North Geelong through the arms of Hutchison, goes towards full forward, and uh, Elsie read the flight pretty well. Not a good effort, I wouldn't have thought, by uh, Ling on that occasion, as uh, Todd Elsie's trying to get 50. I don't think... Uh, Which so, what he does. Uh, Todd Elsie is 20 metres out, near enough to directly in front. We're pretty much behind the line of uh, this kick. It's uh, not a bad-looking kick off the boot at all, and that's goal number four. Ling kicks the ball in once again. He's found Hickleton on the half-back flank. This is better for Inverlee. They need to maintain possession to take it down the ground. Hickleton chips it over the top. Has found Kelly. Very close to uh, three-quarter time. They desperately need a goal to uh, finish the quarter off Inverlee as Kelly puts the ball back into the middle of the ground. Ball uh, can't be picked up here for Inverlee. Stone comes in. Oh, pushing the back surely. So uh, Shane Stone, he knows the uh, seriousness of... Uh, Getting a score here. Plays on quickly. Goes directly towards Lewis. Lewis Big up grab. high. Strong mark overhead. And uh, certainly when they get the ball in one-on-one -on -one overhead like that, good approach. We're pretty much behind this kick as well. As uh, He moves in. Goes straight down the line. Laurie DeGold, he'd be absolutely thrilled with this bit as he's kicked it absolutely dead set straight over the goal umpire's hat. So that's goal number three to Owen Lewis. The place to catch up with friends, relax in a friendly atmosphere and enjoy great service and food. Then Buckley's can offer a fun evening that the whole family can enjoy. In our bistro you can enjoy a selection from our extensive menu, including family favourites. On those sunny days, our alfresco is the perfect setting to enjoy a meal catch up with friends or watch your favourite sport on two large plasma TVs. Having a special occasion can be made easy by hiring our newly renovated function rooms. Buckley's, a venue of class that provides all your entertainment and function needs.